existing self-propelled systems, such as the Paladin and Archer, offer increased mobility and firepower, but the size and weight do not meet the United States Marine Corps' needs for deployability. One solution the Marine Corps is exploring is to transition to manned and unmanned systems. Manned, self-propelled systems start with two competing requirements, crew survivability and weapon employment. Combining these two disparate requirements has obvious first order effects. Both necessitate significant weight and volume on the same platform. Providing crew protection against blast overpressure, shock, and gas toxicity adds to the complexity and cost to self-propelled systems. By physically separating the crew from the weapon, the crew can be located in vehicles already optimized for personnel like the Humvee and JLTV, while the unmanned system can be optimized to accommodate the weapon. UGVs increase personnel survivability by allowing Marines to be geographically displaced from the weapon's firing position. Common chassis maximize mobility while reducing cost and logistical burden. Lightweight JLTV chassis allow for vertical lift, transport, and insertion using the CH-53K. Vertically transportable JLTV variants can be employed from distributed locations and naval platforms. Vertical transport allows for rapid deployment to unimproved, remote terrain. Crews in associated command support vehicles or on foot remotely operate the system in support of raid maneuvers. Reduced system size allows for improved air transportability. Two JLTVs, cannon or missile variant, or a single MTVR cannon can be transported internal to a C-130J-30. Lightweight systems allow for improved naval transportability and employment from naval platforms. Reduced system size allows for an increased mission profile. Utilizing the same caliber rounds in two weapon systems reduces ammunition logistics support and burden.